Welcome, friends, to the next Bhagavad Gita lesson. Let's prepare ourselves by settling in with a slow, deep breath. Hari Om Tatsat, Om Shanti. We're in episode number 225, entitled, Can't Get No Satisfaction? Try this. And we're on the fifth chapter, the eighth and ninth verse. We'll do, do them both together. It reads, Remaining centered in the true self, such a yogi clearly sees, I am doing nothing. Though the body is engaged in seeing, hearing, touching, smelling, eating, walking, sleeping, breathing, speaking, giving, and receiving, or merely opening and closing the eyes, this sage simply witnesses the senses interacting with the sense objects. Sri Krishna gives us uh, a list of various mundane actions that we all do in the course of a day. He's showing us how karma yoga purifies the mind and leads us to the experience of jnana yoga. For most of us, there is an I doing these things. But for the advanced karma yogi, there's an I aware of these things being done. There's not the thought or effort of remaining detached from the senses as they're engaged with the sense objects. There's the experience of, of this non-attachment. If we dig deep enough, we will hit pay dirt, this non-attached eye. This eye, this eye has an innate sense of fulfillment and well-being. When we're feeling this internal satisfaction, the senses can function in a, a natural, healthy way. And this allows us to appreciate the senses even more than if we're trying to squeeze every bit of pleasure out of the experience. In other words, not only does a real karma yogi enjoy the bliss of the self, they can also thoroughly and consciously enjoy the temporary bliss of say, eating ice cream. Until then, we can sing along with Mick Jagger. I can't get no satisfaction that brings this sense of lasting fulfillment. For reflection, uh, in the interval yoga, yoga nidra, we observe the breath, and then we observe the mind. It's a training period for what Krishna describes here, this shifting of the identification to the observer. It's a lifelong process, but let's see if we can get a little taste of this now. Your eyes are open. They're looking at your computer or your phone. Let's see if the ears are picking up anything. Do you smell anything? What is your skin touching? Be aware of how each sense is experiencing something, but try to get a sense that the yogi, or as Krishna says here, the sage simply witnesses the senses interacting with the sense objects. That's the, that's the real you. Simply witnessing the senses interacting with the sense objects. Thanks for joining. Om Shanti. Shanti, Shanti.